Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I've got some of the best free assets that you can find on the Unity Asset Store for October, November 2025 that you can check out. I've got the full list that you can get down in the description, and this is a selection of editor extensions, characters, textures, gameplay assets, and full games. But do be sure to throw a like and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out massively. And do be sure to come and check out my Patreon too to get over 230 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And just a note to everybody at this current time, you can get Sinti's nightclub pack for free using the code Sinti2025. So first of all, we've got the free starter pack from Sinti, which is based on their sidekick modular characters pack. So it has over 50 sci-fi civilian and fantasy night modular parts, 90 different modular rigged human base parts for torsos, legs, hands and feet fully rigged and this is all about their package which is customizing different characters then this is a starter pack to show you what their sidekick asset has to offer we've got the day to night system which is a flexible system which allows you to handle the progression the sun rotation lighting fog skybox blending and even stars are suitable across all pipelines with an in-game clock too. This is the Fantasy Monster 3D. And now this developer has a few of these on the store. So this is a 3D monster with 11 unique animations ready to go. And you can check all of these out in the full list. We've got the 2D Enemy Patrol AI with animated platforms, a patrol system and visual effects and sounds. So this is perfect for a 2D game where you can simply drag and drop and adjust in the inspector. You can tweak movement speeds, patrol points, death effects, and loads of other integrated features in this too. We've got the 2D platformer tile map pack. So it comes with a sample level, all UIs and working coin system to be able to use these to make your own tile map and dungeon style environment more easily. So this is the shader graph texture atlas handler, which has a subgraph which allows you to easily manipulate texture atlases. If you've got say four different textures on one sheet, you can specify the one that you want more easily. Got the low poly textures pack, which is a package of 50 different textures across a low poly style with more of a hand drawn unique look. So an interesting one here is the apocalypse pixel pack, which is a black and white. So this is a tile set for black and white zombie apocalypse or a sort of post apocalyptic style theme with 32 by 32 pixels tile sets with a black and white city theme. Next one we've got is the prefab visualizer so you can search, preview, instantiate and even set favorites, do a 3D view. We've got a nice one called UI draw. So this is a thing to use at Unity's canvas, which allows you to do drawing and add different things to the UI. If you think back in the day of different drawing apps, so you could put annotations to documents, interactive whiteboards, you could make creative games for children, anything like that. We've got 61 spells pack, which has a selection of shot, burst, buff, explosion, rain, beam, strike, impact, and incantation, all built in the shader graph and really lightweight, so you can get hold of this if it's interesting to you. Got one called the Arachnid Alien Headlight, and this is a bit of a freaky one, but it's got nine different animations, one texture, and it's ready to creep everybody out. We've got the dialogue graph system. So this is a node-based dialogue system with anchoring different graphs, and you can do this with typewriter skip, autoplay as history, trigger based on gameplay events, and it's fully working to be able to use this for conversations or game driven events that you might need. We've got the RPG camera light, so it adds an RPG camera that you might want to be able to rotate, scale, look around, and you can swap out subcomponents so you can enjoy the customization of the camera that you need. From the same developer, we've got the RTS camera, which is a basic camera which lets you move around and pan as if you were in an RTS based game where you can move left, right, up and down. We've got OmniShade PBR, which is a physically based Uber shader. And this is a shader which has PBR lighting involved, but it has more customization in terms of rim lights, reflection maps, and you can even use polybrush to do painting on it, height based coloring, different shadow overlays, and you can fade with a distance from the camera. It's got loads and loads of features included and could be a great PBR solution for your next game. And this one is the smooth scene camera. And this is a great way to make your scene scrolling feel just a little bit smoother. And you can adjust the zoom and the intensity of it. Say we get closer, it can slow down. And when we scroll away, we can make that faster. And it's got so many different customizations in there. I did actually make a video really recently about the 40 best free editor extensions which can really change your unity editor forever and you can check that out and i'll put that down in the description too so be sure to check all these out i'll put all the lists down below including the full list in the description 
and be sure to throw a like and make sure you subscribed because it helps me out massively. Check out Unity sale at the moment, the free asset on the Unity asset store and everything that you can save and everything will be down in the description. Do check out my Patreon too to get over 230 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And a massive thank you to Party of 10 and Very Shutha for their amazing support. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.